All right, guys, it's Chris Nichols, Retirement Empire. Just want y'all to see how that today I beat Tammy so bad she had to go out to the truck and just give up. I'm tired. <laughs> She's tired. You know what? I caught them two big redfish out there. It wasn't even supposed Ooh. to be a good fishing day. Uh, you know what? And I think we're going to stop at a, a little place down here. It's one of our favorite places in Pensacola. It's really nice. Uh, you might want to try it out when you come down here. Uh, we really recommend it. It's called uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> I was just thinking, we're, we're in lo the Lord. Do you think I'm going to go looking like I do? We're going to go to Taco Bell and celebrate the two big <laughs> I'm going to get a Mexican pizza all being. Woohoo! I'm starving. And Tammy does not have on her sombrero that she had on the other day in that video. No, I don't. She didn't bring the sombrero with her. Chris told me I look like a homeless woman. <laughs> he did. That's what he said. She had on these gloves and the sombrero and then some kind of pocketbook strap around her shoulder. Like yeah, I she used was... my strap off my pocketbook to hold a sombrero um, <laughs> because I didn't you know, because it's got little <laughs> clips on the end of it. It's not it's, really a sombrero. What do you call that? It is a beach hat. A beach hat. And I didn't want it blowing away. So no I lose. put, I took the strap off my purse and put it on my on my hat. Yeah. It worked good. It did. It worked great. Matter of fact, I lost a lot. I like to have lost it in it. And that strap saved it. Yep. It's a good thing you had that strap. It's what right. did you do right here? Kicked it. How did you kick the... I didn't kick it. I just <laughs> kicked it. The rear view mirror. Tammy has a hard time with the rear view mirrors. Chris has a hard time. I'm just sitting See, I think, my own business. I think you should fix a rear view mirror like once. And it should stay like that forever. It should never be moved. It should never be touched. This is Mama's nurse calling me. It should stay like that forever. Hello, this is Tammy. Tammy thinks you just take it and turn it and look at it and look in your face with it and stuff. But what, the mirror? You should never touch the mirror. Oh, for heaven's Ever. What good is it if you can't use it? It's a rear view mirror. So? You look out, you look out the back of your car with it. I want a Mexican pizza. We are going. All being. What? You're going to make me go in? We're not going in. I'm going to wash my hands and stuff. How do you think you can park right here when you got a boat behind you? I don't know, Ava. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm serious, what are you doing? Oh, we don't have to vote. <laughs> okay, let's go wash our hands. Then. Let's go wash our hands. I'm gonna take y'all into this restaurant. It's really nice. Yeah. When you start thinking you're pulling a boat, You're pulling. I'm tired. A boat behind you. Ooh. She is tired. Maria, too. I am rugs, y'all. I'm tired. I need to go home and take a shower and relax. Yeah. Luckily, Taco Bell, they don't require you to take a shower or get cleaned up before you come in here. This is what this is one of our when we fish over here. This is one of our spots that we usually stop. Sometimes we have a boat with us. And while we were out there, Tammy met some new friends. Had several people. We had a lot. We had two different people stop to talk to us. Three. Well. Yeah, three. Three. Three different people stop because where we were fishing is like a parking lot of a restaurant. So the first guy stopped when I was catching a fish, and then two women stopped when I was catching a fish. And then we had a guy stop and ask if we were catching anything, and then another guy asked if we were catching anything. Then the guy when he was from going Florida to work. checked our license. Yeah, then the Florida DNR again checked my license. I never, I get checked 
every time I come down here. They are on top of things. I'm going to tell you, you better not fish in Pensacola unless you got a license. You better have a license because they stopped today and checked me. They stop you if you're on the side? Yeah, no matter if you're on the, the bank. On, on the bank or if, whatever. If, when you're in the boat, they can get stopped all the time. One time I got stopped twice in one day, but that was in Apalachicola. I got stopped, I was fishing on the bank that morning, and I got stopped in the boat that afternoon. <laughs> they, they are swarming down here. And then the people out, and here's what gets me. This is, uh, y'all tell me what I should do. If somebody asks me, am I, are you catching anything? Because if you tell them you're catching something, and you're liable to come back tomorrow and they're sitting right there in your spot. But if you say you're not, then you're lying. And you know how fishermen have a bad reputation for lying? Well, I don't know if it's really lying. I think they exaggerate. They stretch the truth a little bit. Just a little bit. So, is that wrong? Is it wrong to tell them I'm not catching anything? That, that old man kind of acted like he got mad at you. Because Chris went, oh, we caught a few. Well, we didn't catch a few. I know. We caught two. He goes, well, you probably didn't catch any of that, what did he say, slot? I said we caught a couple of rats. I told him what we were, what we even, what we caught. Yeah, after he asked. If I'm catching fish, I always tell people I'm catching them. Some people won't do that. Some people will lie to you. You don't want to be a liar. I do not want to be a liar. Nobody likes a liar. Nobody likes a liar. 